What's up guys, today we will be talking about a private server called Torena. Torena is a classic Tibia private server on 7.72 client. It is a hard grind uh, server in which everything is custom made. There is only one map which is Rookgard. There are a lot of quests, there are many things to discover, many and daily quests as well to level up, and there are only two factions. There are dwarves and elves. However, dwarves is a very cool class because it is a tank. It has 1.2 defense and have on their skill set. However, if it goes with elves, they are, as all know who play Tibia, is like a bowman or hunter. I forgot how it is called. It is a distance fighter and it has only zero percent eight defense however if it goes with the hunter then it can pierce through two uh two or three mobs at once so it can deal damage to the uh, mob that is behind it as well there are a lot of uh, hidden tunnels there are hidden uh, dungeons that we can explore. There are a lot of bosses. And that is all thanks to the creators of Rookguard. It is a, not as a normal Rookguard because it is it has a very long way of grinding skills. It is. It doesn't have any monk trainers. It doesn't have any offline training. You all have to do it online. Of course, you are not allowed to use bots as it is prohibited. If one of our admins will check you and they will see that you are using a bot, then they will automatically kick you. So the ideal way of to play, as I say, you play, you gain, and you have fun. So at this moment, what I am going to show you guys, I am going to show you in the faction of dwarves. Once you reach it, uh, that uh, 25 levels, of course, I will show you what are the quest to grind uh, here and quite fast to uh, 25 as well I will show a mini map uh, so you guys will be able to uh, to see uh, what is what mm, at this uh, moment I am just um, grinding my skills so I have not experienced everything in this game I am fairly new but we do have on this server a lot of players that have been since the start they know almost everything so a little bit about uh, when you get to 25 level then you will have to do a custom quest for each faction uh, when uh, you want to go to the dwarf faction or elf faction, there are two different quests. The quest for the dwarves uh, starts right here. Starts right here. So you have to go to a person that is located on a mountain slope. You have to speak with him. You'll have to defeat an, uh, some amount of mobs. I will leave that for you guys to discover what you have to do. 
as well <clears throat> uh, when you uh, reach to a certain levels like 35 uh, then you have the custom made pit of fire quest at level 50 you will have the annihilation quest uh, when you get to level 90 then there is a special quest for another weapon but guys uh, what I can say I love this server I will be keep playing it if you'll have any kind of questions uh, drop me a comment a like a subscribe it really helps me a lot as well uh, there are other Torena uh, the movies done to what I know uh, made earlier on like from quests from tarantulas uh, when they were just using spears however for now uh, for now this uh, what I said this is the, is the entrance to the dwarf faction so what else I can say it is a very nice peaceful server there is not a lot of people you can gain experience uh, in peace you can quest uh, with friends so don't hesitate to spread the word and uh, skill uh, on mobs that you want preferably orcs trolls dwarves as they are very good as well many quests will be tiring they will be difficult but everything can be done nothing is impossible here as i said many people will help you mm. If it goes with spells, there are a couple of spells that uh, you have to find on the server. There are many sp uh, spells like Exanopox, Exori, that are placed in different parts of the map. I cannot and I will not show you where they are exactly because that will destroy the fun. This is not a uh, tutorial on how to get uh, how to beat the game. This is just to show how the server looks like. So currently, what we are uh, we are doing, we are going back uh, to Rookgard. So, as you guys have saw, that uh, the way to the Dwarven City wasn't that difficult. It is uh, pretty easy to get through when you're 25 level uh, there is not much that can harm you bats don't do anything as well there is one or two orcs that you beat easily especially if you are uh, uh, if you are a uh, elf or a dwarf a dwarf has as I mentioned has a very high defense level which uh, can help our elves uh, deal damage as it pierces the armor so the rook card is also custom uh, made because in a little bit in, uh, it is different than the standard of course we have the depot in the art underground and in the underground we have uh, the Depot chest in the underground. We have uh, also uh, the quest giver, uh, which I will show you in a second. When you start off, you start off uh, in Rookgard. When uh, so, the first what you do, you have to go down to our leader of Rookgard which I will show you in a very brief moment. So once we get to, to Rookgard, as you guys can see, this is not 
standard. Uh, there are a lot of uh, things that have been added, cooking, farming. Uh, houses are differently made. Everything can be done. When you start, as I said, I'm just going to show you this, where you get the quest and where to give the bag. You have King Kernout. It is our admin and also leader of Rookguard. Uh, he gives out quest uh, to gain experience points. If it goes with the Elven City, when you go out of uh, Rookguard, we have to head all, all the way right as I'm showing on the mini map. Of course, on uh, once you get to 25 level, you want to be an elf, you will have to do you will have to do a quest to get into a city yes these are the only two quests if it goes and these are the only two classes that we have on the rook guard we have the basic when we start or the which doesn't have a faction and after that we start uh, after 25 level we start our journey so these are custom made houses with uh, people having their belongings um, as I said I will show the mini map uh, how it looks like what could be found on the quest Okay, guys. I think this uh, as uh, for as the first uh, show of Torrena uh, Rook Guard. This uh, was a good introduction. If you guys uh, like it, then please join us. I will share the link also uh, also in the description of the uh, of the movie as well. It is on the banner. It is called Torana Rugard or OTS. It is a very easy to find. So till next time guys. Hope you have a great day. Ciao.